Uh, welcome to the um, video on the Point Fuse software, working with the um, Z1 um, 3D laser scanner. So Point Fuse uh, is a software based in the UK, um, and um, it's ideal for working with the Z 3D scan data. So we're just going to come and import a a 3D scan. And down the bottom here we get a progress progress uh, bar on the importation of the point cloud. So it's nearly imported. And across on our project tree and uh, we can say let's have a look at what we've imported. And you can see here we've got our, our 3D point cloud of a, of a facade of a small building that's been 3D scanned using the Z1 um, 3D scanner. So we've walked around the outside of the building here, around the facade, you know, taking some measurements. So we have a surface generation tool here. You click on that, and it's automatically going to go through the 3D point cloud identify edges, identify planes and flat surfaces and then from that it's going to produce for us automatically um, a 3D model of the building based on the point cloud from the Z1 3D scanner. So it's now finished doing that and you can see in our project tree we not only have a point cloud now but we also have a, a vector 3D model which we'll have a look at. And you can see here, here is our, our 3D model collected for the building. So you can see across the top right hand side of the display there's a layers window. Um, foliage, we'll just turn that off, the green marks. They are just surfaces that it thinks of vegetation and trees. Of course, we've got um, surfaces displayed. Of course, we can remove uh, them as well. And of course, that leaves us with our edges that have been calculated. So, pretty impressive, really, that it's quickly generated a 3D model um, automatically. Um, but we can go a step further. Um, we can also go and create automatically sections and planes. So we'll jump into that tool now. And of course we can position the plane uh, in any position that we want. Just using the little grips there. We can slide and rotate the plane around to wherever we want it. Once we're happy with it, we can click create. If you now have a look at our project tree here, we now have in the plan sections, we have a section automatically created for the building. So we can do multiple sections at one time if we want to, instead of one at a time. And of course all these sections and all these 3D models um, can all be exported, um, obviously as a a DWG, uh, a DXF. We just click the export button up here. Go and specify where we want to go and save that file. And of course, we have the DXF for uh, another popular format, um, Collider. Um, so I've already done an export here already. And you can see there's already a DXF there created um, for this file. So if we just quickly go and open up. Um, quickly open up um, an Autodesk product, for example, Autodesk uh, TrueView, which is a free viewer. Um, and you can see here is that 3D model exported, opened up inside an Autodesk product. So you might be using AutoCAD 3D or Revit, for example. So these 3D models come across automatically, including the sections. Um, for you to continue your designing and your um, 
design processes. So thank you for listening.